led by our former president, Lyndon B. Johnson. But contrary to prior belief, voting was actually not a constitutional right that was born with this nation. It wasn't until the 14th Amendment when voting was considered an inalienable right for those that were born in the United States. Unfortunately, this inalienable right actually meant for males specifically only. And it took another two years in 1868 for the 15th Amendment to come where it stated that you cannot discriminate people because of their race or their ethnicity to vote. However, many states found laws around this amendment. Laws such as the Jim Crow laws, poll taxes and literacy, literacy tests were designed and formulated to prevent minorities from accessing the poll booths. Such tests were constructed in such a way where it made it nearly impossible for them to pass this test. So even though the amendment allowed these voters to vote, they were still denied the opportunity. It wasn't until 1965 where these laws were completely removed by the Civil Rights Act, and thus beginning a new age for um, Asian Americans in the terms of being able to voice their opinion. Once we saw the immigration of Vietnam, of many refugees coming over, these rights appeared to <clears throat> stick out into the Asian population much more. One in, in, uh, one in particular, the model minority. Throughout the presence of Asian Americans, Asian Americans, according to the model minority, minority are perceived as being socioeconomically higher than most minorities. And because they are perceived in that way, they are denied things like educational funding and cuts into affirmative action. And the issue with that is that if Asian Americans do not go out and vote, then these cuts will forever be intact and left unchecked. So as citizens of the community, voting is an instrumental right as our, as our, as our people as American citizens. And so we need to make it a duty to voice these opinions. If not, then injustices and laws that prevent Asian Americans from achieving a better and more fulfilling life are denied. Asian Americans represent only 5% of the population. And the US Census Bureau predicts that there's only 1.2% of that actually participating in any political or uh, congressional board. So our representation is so small that for us to not band together, we are doing an injustice to ourselves and to the rest of the community. So because we need that unity, we need to band together and make sure that we all go out and vote. And thank you. Thank you, contestant number two. And that is the end of the